Is it difficult? Yes, it's difficult. And you might not understand it now. But if you continuously practice it, if you continue, if you continuously study it, it's going to become easy. I wasn't born with it. I learned it. So if I can learn it, you can learn that well too. Risk management is simply what tells you what what size you should use. And lot size is basically what tells you how much you're going to move or how much you're going to lose. And for you to understand lot size, you simply need to understand the three types of lot size. We have micro lot size. We have mini lot size. And we'll have standard block size. Now, the micro lot size ranges from 0 0.01 to 0 0.09. And in this lot size, if you use a 0 0.01, one big movement is worth 10 cents. And if you use a 0 0.02 loss size, one big movement is worth 20 cents. Continuously, up until you use 0 0.09, where one big movement is worth 90 cents. So basically, in this lot size, a big movement is worth 10 cents. You have to be this at the back of the mind. Now we have the mean lot size. If you use a mean lot size, one big movement is going to worth one dollar. Sorry. For mean lot size, it really is from 0 0.10 to 0. 99. Now, what it basically means is that mean lot size are lot size that fall under 0 0.10 to 0 0.99 lot size. And what it basically what is that if you use a 0 0.10 lot size, you're basically saying that one big movement is going to worth a dollar. If you use a 0 0.20 lot size, you're simply saying that one big movement is going towards 20, sorry, it's going towards two dollars. And if you use 0 0.99 dollars, you're simply saying that one big movement is going towards 9.90 cents. You as well need to bear this at the back of your mind. And this for a, mic, a mini lot size. Now we have standard, standard lot size, which ranges from one lot size to 100 lot size. Now, what this lot basically means is that a one lot, a one lot size, which is first one, standard lot size, is going to worth ten dollars for every one peak movement price made. That means if the price goes in your favor one peak movement, we want to make ten dollars, and if price goes against you, we want to lose ten dollars. Now, you have to understand how much they are worth. And the range they are categorified, they are categorified, that is in the I don't know. The range they are categorified, or the range that they are inside. For instance, the mean lot size ranges from 0 0.10 to 0 0.99. So anything that, anything that, anything that falls between 0 0.10 to 0 0.99 is special as the mean lot size. And anything that falls from 1 to 100 is special as the standard lot size. So it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, and the rest of them are special as standard lot size. And we have the macro lot size. Which is 0 0.001 to 0 0.05. Remember, they are worth in cents. They are worth from ten, for one dollar to nine, and they are worth from ten dollars to even a thousand dollars. Now, the big question is, how do you know what lot size to use? For you to know what, what lot size, for you to know what, what size to use, it's important to understand two factors. One, how much do you want to lose?
Three, how much is your stop loss? How many pips is your stop loss? Now, let's for instance say you want to lose, let me say, $50 on your setup and your setup has 20 pips SL. Now, for you to know what loss size you use, you simply need to understand what a micro loss size is and what it was. What a medium size is and what it was. What a loss size is and what it was. You understand? You simply need to understand all of these things for you to determine which one to use. Because you have to, before you use me, you have to know, you have to know that what, what a couple of doing. You understand? For you to know what all size to use, you simply need to know that you want to use and your stop loss is simply 20 pips. Now, the next question you want to ask is what losses can I use so that if price makes 20 pip movement, I'll lose 20, I'll lose 50 dollars. Now, if you use a 0 0.01, which is what 10 cents, if you use this loss size, if price makes 20 pips. You're simply going to be losing two dollars. How how do I calculate this thing? Ten cents times twenty pips is equal to two dollars. Press calculator, you see that ten cents times twenty pips is equivalent to two dollars. So ten cents is zero, simply zero point zero point ten times twenty is equal to three dollars. Now, if I use 0 0.09, call, if I use 0 0.09, 0 0.09, which means one people movement is equal to 90 cents. So 90 cents times 20, 20 pips is equal to is it 19 that would be 18, 18 point, 18 point something. So we have to press 0 0.90 times 20. This was to 18, that be 19, something like that. So it's not up to how much you want to lose. So if you want to lose $50, I'm giving you $18. Do you understand? So it's not up to what you want to lose. So you have very mind that you don't, you're not going to use in micro lot size for you to achieve this. So what do you do? We go to the next one. Now for the next one now you simply see that if you use 0 0.10 lot size, 0 0.10 lot size, which is equivalent to one dollar for every every one pip movement. Now if your SL is simply 20 pips SL. One times 20 is equal to what? 20. So this one's the process to use. If you use 0 0.20, if you use 0 0.20, if you use 0 0.20, it simply means that one pip movement is going to what? Two dollars. Two dollars times 20 pips is equal to what? 40 dollars. So this is not the size we want to use. Now if you use zero point if you use zero point three zero, it simply means that one people movement go to what three dollars. Now twenty pixel plus twenty times three is what sixty. But you want to lose fifty. That means simply means that you want to, what you want to use is around 0 0.20 to 0 0.30. So, what you want to use, what is in between these two lot size, which is what? Which is what? 0 0.25. Now, 0 0.25 is simply saying that 
One woman is going to tell you what two dollars fifty cents. Now two dollars fifty cents times twenty pips is equal to what fifty dollars. So basically, if you want to lose fifty dollars and your SL is is twenty pips, you simply should use zero point two five lot size. Is it difficult? Yes, it's difficult, and you might not understand it now. But if you continuously practice it, if you continue, if you continuously study it, it's going to become easy. I wasn't born with it; I learned it. So if I can learn it, you can learn as well. So everything that you see out there, no one was born with it. Nobody came before to, to learn it first. They simply learned it. I mean, they can go through the process and learn it. You also, can, you also as well can learn and go through the process. So at first, it's going to be very difficult. Like, if you study it now with me, it might be difficult for you to understand. But with time, if you continuously put your head, put your head to it, put your mind to it, you're simply going to understand it very clearly. Well, <clears throat> I think I've done justice to what the size is, and the only way you can understand this thing is to go home and practice, sorry, is to go back and practice it. I'm telling you, go back and class. It's to go back to class. It's go, so it's to go back and practice it and understand it step by step. Is it boring? Yes. But you want it badly. You want it badly and you can get it. The only way you want it, the only way you can get it is if you want it badly. <clears throat> I think this will be the end of this video. If you find this video helpful, I like to subscribe, drop a comment and I will see you in my next video.